Hey everyone, I know it's been a while, but I'm back to more YouTube tutorials, and today we're going to be in After Effects working with light leaks, creating seamless and really professional transitions in Adobe After Effects. Uh, we have the final result right here. This is going to be a pretty quick tutorial, and I hope everyone enjoys. So, the idea behind this is we can use stock footage online to create a light leak transition for us. So really it requires no effort on our part. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is just set up my clips. So I'm going to scale them up. And I'm just going to set up a transition around 5 seconds. So we want to transition from this forest scene to this sunset scene. Now in order to do that, all we're going to need is some stock footage from online of a light leak or a lens flare. And if you go on YouTube, you'll find tons of these free clips to download. You might want to search uh, light leak overlay or flare overlay and you'll find tons of them. And uh, it'll look something similar to this. Right, and now all we have to do is go to the point of our transition right here and we're going to drag our footage on top and find the brightest point uh, in this footage so the point where the entire screen is completely white and that's right here and this we want to be right at the point where our next clip comes in so because we don't want to see that clip and, and we want it to seamlessly transition so once we have it placed on top we're just going to go to our top layer we're going to change the mode from normal to add and now, if you can't see this, you can just hit your toggle switches slash modes, and that's going to show that option to you. Now, once it's on add, we, we have the transition. You can preview through. We have the transition, and it looks relatively nice. The only thing is, it's kind of choppy, and we can make it a lot smoother. So all we're going to do is we're going to hit T, and that's going to open up our opacity value. We're going to keyframe it. We're going to set it to around 0, some very low value, so I'm going to set it to 10. And then as I scrub through, again, at our brightest point, we want it to be close to 100. You can make it 100, you can make it 90, um, as long as you don't really see the clip too clearly. And then we're going to scrub back through towards the end of our clip, and we're, let's keyframe it back at around 10. That's going to allow it to blend a lot nicer. And then as a final step, we're going to go right-click, keyframe assistant and go down and click easy ease and now if I preview through we're gonna have a lot smoother transition it's not going to abruptly show those colors and if I preview through it's a little choppy let me pull this in a little bit If I preview this, we have a really, really nice transition using those light leaks. And there are some really, really nice professional looking ones online. And, and you don't have to spend any effort in actually creating your own. Again, this was a very, very quick tutorial. I will be going back to uploading tutorials along with some other content um, along the way. So if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and thank you for the support.